The Eternal Question Is it important to satisfy the viewers your channel already has, or to try and satisfy the viewers you'd like to have? Today, Mike gives his opinions on this balancing act, and don't forget to chime in in the comments below. What is up everyone, my name is Dusty Mike. Today I'm gonna be answering an awesome question. This is a large comment, so uh, let's paraphrase. What do you think is more important, to satisfy the viewers you already have or the viewers you may get in the future? Your previous video focused more on overall and I need to understand a difference between potential subscribers and subscribers already had. Awesome question, Sebastian. So before I dive into this question, let me give you a quick tip that might help you and other viewers out there. Last week we discussed analytics and how you can actually group them together to decide what viewers want to watch. There's another feature out there that may help you decide what potential viewers may want versus previous viewers. If you visit your analytics, you can actually organize your analytics by subscribed and non-subscribed. This means you can get all the statistical information from people watching your videos who are not yet subscribed. This may help you by organizing data and see what people like who aren't subscribed. In your question you stated, to me a channel is best if the person behind the videos is happy, not making decisions based on only views and ad revenue. I've actually been on both sides of this and I have to say I completely agree with your statement. When I first began I made a video that did really well. People begged for more so I did more. We actually turned into a weekly show and it started to do better and better. It got to the point where we were getting about 20 to 30,000 views a day. Well it was very difficult for me to make these videos for many different reasons. To be honest, I didn't really enjoy making them and it was really hard for me to do in my current situation. So I quit the series and started doing something that I wanted to do vlogging. At first I got a lot of backlash and no support for my vlogs. Now, five years later, I'm actually still getting asked to bring the show back. But still I'm happy making my own content that I chose to make that I enjoy. Our channel is now starting to grow and the community we've developed is much better than the old show ever was, even if the views aren't the same. But again, I'm enjoying making the content, and people watch it and they enjoy it because they actually see I enjoy it. Personally, I feel like YouTube should be something that you're passionate about and enjoy doing. If you're only doing it for the money, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Now, if if you're doing something that you love and you can wake up every day enjoying it and you're making money then you have a win-win situation so above all else make sure that you enjoy what you do and make sure that you're gonna enjoy it down the line as well now lastly let's tackle the last part of your question the analytics video you made barely touched the surface on how to make a decision about a channel based on statistics and I would like to see a follow-up on this for most people views are not the only factor for those of you guys new here last week we discussed analytics and breaking your analytics into groups to see what people want to see in your comment you stated that people People often click due to a misleading title or thumbnail, so it's hard to judge what people want due to views. Although this is true, my previous video still applies here. When you organize your channel into groups, you can see much more than just views. You should never stop comparison with just views. Look at how many likes these videos are driving, how many subscribers these videos bring, and of course, above else, your audience retention. Go through your analytics and weigh which video groups are doing better than others, and it can help you decide what viewers want to see. If you guys want to see the video where I talk about how to break your analytics into groups to see what your viewers want to see, you can click the link in the sidebar. But anyways, guys, that's it for me today. If you want to see more of my tips or tricks, you can click the link in the sidebar as well. And of course, if you want to see more of me, you can click the links down in the description below and hang out my face every single day. And lastly, be sure to leave your questions down below for me to answer in the next video. Remember, there's no dumb questions. I'm running dry here, people. I need some more questions to answer in the future videos. Anyways, guys, we'll see you next week. See ya. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.